In the late 1920s, astronomers discovered that the universe is expanding. This extraordinary fact has some really important implications. It means that everything we see in the universe now, all the matter, all the energy we see in the universe now, used to be much closer together. When it was closer together, the universe was denser and it was hotter. In fact, it was so dense and hot that it began in a hot, dense, and rapidly expanding Big Bang. If you want to understand how we came to this extraordinary conclusion, it's important to appreciate what we mean when we say the universe is expanding and how it is we know that the universe is expanding. So to explain this, I want to describe a little bit the evidence for cosmic expansion. To begin with, we need to recognize that the universe is a big place. It's so big that even light traveling at 186,000 miles per second takes a long time to get from place to place. When we look at a galaxy like the Andromeda galaxy, one of our nearest neighbors, the light which we see from it has been traveling for a long time to get here, about two and a half million years for the Andromeda galaxy. Now that's the nearest galaxy that we might look at. The most distant galaxies that we can see today are much farther away and consequently light has been traveling from them for a much longer time. In, in, at the moment, the most distant galaxies we're aware of, light has been traveling to us for 12 or 13 billion years. And I need to remind you that 12 or 13 billion is about 13,000 times longer than it takes light to get to us from the nearest galaxies. So we're talking about an enormous expanse of space that we're able to view. This fact that light travels at a finite speed means that we get to see the history of the universe laid out around us. When we look farther and farther out in space, we're actually looking farther and farther back in time. This allows us to see how things have changed during the history of the universe. So that's the first piece you need to understand to understand cosmic expansion. That when we look at distant objects, we're seeing the past and not merely the distant. The second thing that you need to understand about expansion has to do with the light that's emitted by the galaxies. So what is the light from a galaxy like? Well, a galaxy is made of many stars. and so. The light from a galaxy is the average of the light from a very large number of stars. This has a consequence. It means that the light from different galaxies is actually more or less the same, because each is the light from the average of many, many stars, and each galaxy has a lot of the same kinds of stars. Now, that statement is a statement about the light that's emitted by the galaxies. It turns out that we, when we observe the light from galaxies, when we see it after it has been traveling through the universe for a long time, it doesn't look the same when it comes from every galaxy. And the way that it differs depends on how far away the galaxy is and how long the light has been traveling from the galaxy. What we see is that the light from galaxies, as, as we look at galaxies that are farther and farther away from us, the light from those galaxies has been stretched more and more and more. So when we look at the light from a nearby galaxy, we see that its light has been stretched a little bit so that light that would have been short wavelength blue light is now longer wavelength red light. If I look at a galaxy that's much farther away, I will see the same effect but much larger. And the farther and farther away I look at galaxies, the more and more the light from those galaxies has been stretched out and made redder and redder and redder as the wavelengths get longer and longer and longer. This stretching of the light comes about because of the expansion of the universe. Light, as it travels through the universe, is seeing the universe expand as it travels. And, and as it's moving through this universe, it's stretching out. It's becoming larger and larger and larger. When I look at a nearby galaxy, the light hasn't traveled for very long. The universe hasn't expanded very much during that time. When I look at a more distant galaxy, the light has been traveling for a longer time. The universe has expanded more during that time. And consequently, we see the light stretched further and further and further. This is a little hard to comprehend. And people often ask questions like, if the universe is expanding, what's it expanding into? This question itself reveals a kind of fundamental misconception about what's going on. The universe is not a thing that exists within a space. What we're talking about here is the expansion of the space itself, the actual space itself, not 
of something that lives inside a larger space. It sometimes helps people to think about this, to say that it's perfectly possible that the universe is today, and in fact has always been, perfectly infinite. We have no evidence to suggest that that's not the case. So you might imagine in your mind an infinite universe in which in the beginning everything was close together. Everything moves farther and farther apart, but it's just as infinite at the beginning as it is at the end. We don't actually know that it's infinite, but we have no evidence to suggest that it's not. So it's a perfectly fine model to hold in your mind that we live in a universe which has always been infinite, but in which things are always growing farther and farther apart.